I will send you to Jesus. G'day boys and girls, <clears throat> and hello, welcome to another episode of the Naked Zombie Live. I am your host, the delightful yet slightly odd Brad, and joining me in the cardboard box of cuddles all the way up north, please welcome Nick the Sewer Killer. G'day buddy. Hey bud, how's it going? Good, good, and hi Baz. Baz has joined us in chat. Thanks mate. Now tonight... Mm. We've got a very interesting subject. Um, I now have the technology to screen share on StreamYard, which is fan. I had to wait for a Thunderbolt cable to arrive for me Mac. Ah. So I've got I've got one monitor to work my PC and my Mac. So it's it's really odd. Like like they're right. anyway. So sorry, mate. What was that? I've got three bloody monitors now on my bloody PC, but it ain't working. I've got to get it looked at. Well, pouring super glue in and the keys and trying to sniff it ah. afterwards will have that effect. Um, oh, so tonight, weird. tonight, mate, we're going to talk about Peter Kane. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? Now, I've actually we're going to show you some video and some audio of Peter Kane tonight. Now, let, let me just break down Peter Kane for you in the nicest <clears throat> possible way that I physically can. Peter Kane is a very well-known Bigfoot dude. And I'm not going to say beef Bigfoot researcher. I'm not going to say Bigfoot hunter. Dude. It's probably the best way I can explain to it to what he is. And you'll see very why. Because not only has Peter kept a frozen body, bits of frozen body of a Bigfoot in his freezer since the 50s when his dad supposedly shot it, he keeps a live baby Bigfoot in his bathroom chained to the wall and he's had relations with said female Bigfoot and maybe the father of a hybrid Bigfoot baby. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is real. <laughs> this, this is a thing, apparently. So, look, Peter's been around for, for years, if you know what I mean, and... I honestly don't know whether he actually, if he's just a massive troll, has been pulling this off for decades, or he actually generally believes this. And I'm going to show you footage, which is great for live TV, but on the radio side of it, when you guys listen to this, you'll be able to hear his, hear his emotional responses. Emotional it, content. <laughs> uh, Moser, no damage uh, to to what he's talking about. But so we're, we're going to kick off the show straight away tonight. It should be a lot of fun, and when more people join, it'll be fantastic. Now, let, let me just bring up uh, one of the first videos of, um, of Peter. So it just gives you a rundown. He's actually got a couple of Bigfoot arms in this one. So let me just bring that up for you now. Uh, let's share that. All right, so you'll see this just go. Screw look, mate. We're little. Let's get off to one side. So, so this is uh, this this is this is Peter here, and he's got lots and lots of videos, as you can see down the side here. Show him the rubber. <laughs> no, no. All right, so let's let's let, let me just kick this off straight from the bat. So let let's let's listen to Peter now explain about these phenomenal Bigfoot arms that he that he's in possession of from from his dad. So so let's just um. This is how it listen. When my father acquired the Bigfoot September 23rd, 1953, he acquired more than one. It was a tragic thing, but it was imperative that they did what they had to do for their own survival. Now we have two specimens here. We have two right hands and we're going to weigh both of them. And by oh, we've got a bit of an echo. We can figure out the we do. Who from Peter? Of... Uh, yeah. 
It wasn't doing that before, was it? Okay, no. let, 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 let me just turn this down a bit because it's probably coming. I'll just mute myself. I think that's where the echo is coming from. Let me know if it still echoes. I don't. The Bigfoot. Now, keep in mind that the Bigfoot's physiologic, it's physiologically different than a human. Their torsos are much longer. But if you take into account, like the hand and the forearm here on a human would weigh about one and a half pounds. And we could, we could calculate the weight from these, you know, the, the hand and the forearm. You figure like the average weight of a human being is 180, something like that. It's massive, massive creatures. I mean, absolutely massive, beautiful creatures. So if we can figure out. So I'll just pause that there. You, you sort of got a very, very, um, very quick explanation of if you've seen the video, <clears throat> seeing the uh, the foam filled hands with a bit of rubber, and the very bad fingernails. Um, you sort of get the idea yeah. where we're going with this tonight. Was it echoing once I muted myself? No, it was good. No, yes, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now Baz, can you hear that all right? Because I've got to ask the audience if Baz could hear that all right. Because oh, this is the first time I'm doing this tonight, and I'm not sure it all works. So Baz will soon let us know. Now, so in that case, so I want to bring up one of the most horrific stories um, that Peter has ever told. So let me let me just bring up this so i need to stop this and get into his tiktok now he actually has a tiktok as well um <laughs> and it's different i mean i thought my tiktok was freaking shocking uh but let me just bring up his 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 tiktok now he's also a dog trainer which is is fair enough and we're going to talk about this one here um let me just bring this one up TV and I see this about our president molesting people, and I'm thinking, I've been molested. You know, nobody wants to help me. I've been molested by a Sasquatch. I know a lot of people are saying that it wasn't a, a female Sasquatch, that it was a male Sasquatch, and it wasn't. It was a female. I'm not gay. I'm not. So, TV and I see this about. That's, that's, that's a short of the video we're going to show you in a minute where his claim was he was molested by um, a she-foot. Um, he was out in the woods with his with his friend, well, by himself, because this never happens around his mates. Um, so this is where it gets interesting. Now, if I can find the, the, the full video of that too, which is phenomenal, but he gets into everything. So he's got blue bananas and, and all sorts of things. And yeah, he's... I, I, I've seen many of stuff. Of, I, I actually, I hate to admit this, but I'm actually subscribed to him. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is the blue Java. Those I, actual, I got those blue Java banana trees. But You do? Yeah, and the uh, red Saba. They it's, taste uh, like okay, um, so. vanilla ice cream. Really? Yeah. So let me... Oh, really? Well, there you go. I learned something every day. So I'm going to try and find the video, the, the proper video here. Let me just stop this. And this is where it all gets interesting. That he, he's, he, he, he's got video of a uh, buffet attack my cat food. Now, this is this is one of his also greatest video hits uh, where he's, apparently he catches all this Bigfoot evidence. Um, let, let me just stop this. We've got to wait till these ads. Stupid ads play, of course I do. Let me just... Um... Oh, God, ads. Yeah. All right, so... So, basically, I'll share this. I'll just pause it now. So, basically, what it is, this guy captures all this Bigfoot evidence. Now, I'm going to show you actual footage, Nick, Nick the serial killer, of a real-life Bigfoot stealing his cat's cat food he caught on camera you ready for this okay <laughs> this right on. i bring you all the hard-hitting news of the paranormal on this one thing imagine the marks <laughs> oh mate i had to imagine so let, let's 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 share this now so we'll just bring this up the screen they'd be married now by now baz 
they would be better. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to cover my microphone up while we listen to this so it doesn't come through. I yeah. need a better system. Yeah. There may not be sound with this one. Right, so I'll just read this out for people who don't know. On, on November 20th, 2006, I put warm milk out for some stray cats. Being the animalitarian that he is, uh, I caught this young Bigfoot or dog man being attacked by the uh, attracted by the warm mill by my security camera so this is this is what's happening here now so let's just go into the video and i'll just yeah i'll just sort of show you because there's very little audio for this but i'll just explain it for the, for the radio side so what we've got is snow covered plane and he just so happens to have the security camera focused on this bowl of warm milk in the middle of freezing snow. It wouldn't be warm for very long. I'm just putting that out there for scientific reasons, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. You ready for this? You ready for... You ready for this? Look, look, can, can you start to see it? Yeah, just at the top, yeah. Yeah, just at the top. Ready, learn. <clears throat> <laughs> it is attracted by the milk. Mm. Mm. And now it just how happens to look up at the camera. And just happens to sound like a slowed down version of a Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so that's that's it. Now, just some visual pointers on this on this Bigfoot. Now, this is this is the thing. Now, due to Bigfoot mythology, Bigfoots apparently can see infrared. Right, and that's why not many people capture good imagery of it because they, their eyesight can pick up the redness of an IR camera, which security cameras are. Yeah, you know, that's why this yeah. isn't black and white. So, and and it just so happens that this Jim Henson went all the way. <laughs> now, I'll be very very surprised. I'm just putting this out there to the zombie army out there. That I, I think this is a lot of shit. Just we'll put that out there. But there's more yeah. of this. Because he's actually captured this particular Bigfoot. Let me just keep playing the video and I'll talk to you. He's actually captured a baby version of this and keeps it in his bathroom. <laughs> oh, have That's cruel. This. And it, it chained to his if bathroom. If he has caught it, one and he's captured, then that, he's cruel. Then that's look, cruel. And, Leave it the oh, top no, of the let see, it go. See, we, we, we got a close-up of the face for that reason. Chewy, is that you? It is. It's just my <laughs> chew, <Marco. laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's, it is reaching for... I mean, this guy must have spent so much money on this. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. But 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 the, 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 the sad part about it, Nick, is he actually believed this. Uh I'm going to try and find the the, the great. Um, uh, <laughs> well, if it is real, my bad. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I'll see if I can find some more video. Uh, so this is uh, this is where the Bigfoot is frozen since 1950. Juvenile Sasquatch, Dogman caught on video destroying barn. So he's got another one of these where he's ca he, this guy captures so much. Uh, dog He's like Van Helsing. He is, mate. This, this, this is what I miss. This is what I don't get to do. <laughs> the giant uh, skull. I remember that one. <laughs> oh yeah, the giant skull. Where's that one? Uh, up. Oh, this, oh, oh, these are his TikToks. Oh no, he's actually got a skull, like a skull skull. He actually. Yeah, yeah. This a, was uh, oh, this was a big head that was on a table. Yeah, yeah, but he's actually got this big. Look, I. I'm no scientist, but when I when people see this 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 skull, uh, let me just if I can find some more more big. I have no idea what that is. That's just weird. Okay, 
Th this 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 guy is right into this this creepy shit. Yeah, he posts some really weird shit. Um, let's uh find it. The shorts, no. He likes to dance. Female boot attacks man near fire Sasquatch at three a.m. Oh, look, he's even got an alien, a frog man. You want to see that one? Frog man, all right. Yeah, eighteen minutes long. Well, we, we we'll, we'll we'll just skip through it. There'll be there'll be ads in this, of yeah. course. He's got to make money somehow. Cut off. Oh, let, let, let me just uh, let me just move that. So yeah, this, this guy, he actually burst into tears in one of these. I got to find the video. I should have downloaded it. Burst into tears when he friggin' was talking about the tale. How he was, he got a mate. He got an actual BJ off a female Bigfoot. <laughs> what an experience dude i'll be scared of the teeth of the water yeah in front of my so so this is him again and this is him doing the frog man paper mache when it collapsed it just sort of like wilted that's can you hear that all right that he used and i said yeah what do you mean wilted and he said well he it was like a big pile of spaghetti he also said that when they when they decided to take it obviously when when they picked it up, that if you had the the shoulders, somebody had the shoulders like the front part, and somebody had the feet, that it just like it, it appears that it doesn't have any bones in it. That's what he said. So they they were taking it with with them, and the the big ones they were putting on ice, and they were going to do the. So same for those thing listening, the if they're listening later on to the thing, what, what we've got on the table is the about a five Martian. foot long. Paper so mache Mr. alien looking thing that's bright orange. He said that it was changing colors and the description that he gave was And it's got a big bulbous a dome ring. head. So they decided and to Peter is currently now dressed up in a so hazmat in the, in the suit with rubber gloves, safety that, glasses. I didn't have proper protective equipment on and I think I got something in my eye. So <laughs> we had to shut down. We have 11 uh, I think that she I think that female Bigfoot got something in her eye after their encounter. We have uh, a couple titans of industry. We have uh, a scientist, Just it a it doctor, out there. a poet. We have a, we have a lot of people in the room here to witness this for mankind. Now, what, what we're going to do today is I'm going to use a small camera. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to go up through the the uh, nasal right up his of the uh, and frog man and, and, and see what is in you know, it's, it's, it's you think you'd go, right, this is for you all the anal probes you bastards cranium, have given us it's, it's and jammed it up its ass. Look, I will give you a good, he's quite creative. The cranium when you look at this. Gigantic. It's, it's a huge head. Dude, I could, I could, I could build imagine, some sketchy shit you know, like this and pretend to be friggin' all knowing. This, this creature's head, I'm assuming it's a large brain. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Well, Bill, he's sketchy. Take this micro camera. And gently put it up the nostril of the frogman. And please be assured, this isn't going to hurt the frogman because the frogman is dried out and has been been dead since. It won't hurt dead. because it's dead. Dried out <laughs> specimen. If you're queasy, and if there's any of you all that are that are in the room that are going to get queasy again. Tell me now, can, can, can you keep your shit together? Okay, good. And so basically now he's claiming he's got a room full of people watching this. Like this then yeah. turn off, do not watch this. Or turn off the computer, do not watch this. Because this is this is a science experiment. It's almost like, and this is, you know, back in the 70s and that when Star oh, Trek come out, science. the super nerds that made their own little Starship on. Enterprise now fucking put um, the helm. Shirt. The camera. Yeah. He just wanted to be a gun alien hunter, <laughs> so he's acting it all out. Yeah, I think and this it is it, mate. But I think he half believes his stuff. Now he's showing oh, yeah. a he's showing a camera up the nose. Okay, we are inside the alien's nose right now. I assume that that is its sinuses. Okay, it is in, and we have a picture. Oh, look, there's some smack. See some ribbing. <laughs> of course, inside the nasal cavity, the sinuses. Going towards the the brain, the inside of oh, the God. frog man's. Oh, wow, he got to the brain quick. 
cranium. Oh, you know, he's really got that far yet. Gee, mate, come on, he's a man of science. There's, a, oh, there's another area of the brain. We're going to go through this hole right now. Oh, there you go. This is just like on, you know, a, it reminds me of like a, a show. He's very precise with like that uh, plumbing camera, isn't he? Look at how we're in here. Oh, yeah. Looking, you know, with this, this Oh, that's meant to be the brain. Microscopically at the alien's Ooh. gray matter. Dude. Now I'm going to... He hasn't, it in dude. I, I think this might be obvious. What that is, I think he might have cut different footage be, and just put this camera up close it. or something. Yeah, we're still in the same. Well, I don't cavity. know. I, I get the feeling it's, I'm, it's I'm a bit of having a, some bit of tension going on, on the here. there. There's looks like yeah. there's another another hole to go down. You can't oh, now find all of a sudden holes. we're in some area that's well, now he's a professional like that's at handling that. Some. I don't know. Are those crystals? It looks crystallized. You can tell the difference in video quality as it well. If you know what I mean. I can tell one. This, like this is just water crystals. Using a macro lens. Or diamonds. Maybe the, it looks like diamonds, sort of. This is fascinating. It's not, dude. It's Isn't up its nose. fascinating? No one has seen, seen this before. You see? All right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I, I just, special. I just got to go back. I just noticed something. It if you go back to this section here, you look at the almost footage. like water right. crystals. Just bear with me. Watch this. Or diamonds, maybe and the. Play, it looks like diamonds, play, sort of. To, to, close it's attention. Fascinating. Okay, see, he's Isn't not moving. Fascinating. Yeah. Watch, watch the hole. He's not no actually streaming it in. Seen, see, it's getting closer. And he didn't yeah. actually push it in. No one. Ah, you, you all are see? the only ones. You're special. I call shit. Oh, the picture changed. So, oh, I call shit. Very special. And he's just jamming it in, yet the camera's not really moving. No, he's jamming it in. It just magically keeps finding these holes to go down. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have to do something about all these freaking ads, too, dude. Anyway. I make no ad revenue for this. I'm just let's screw. Okay, there's the other hole. He's going into the other hole. The hole looks impressive. That is amazing. Pulling it out and putting it back in real gently. Oh my hit. God! What is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is this is classic. Some guy. kind of energy field. I can, I can feel energy. it. On the camera. <laughs> I can feel it like magnetically pulling the camera. Be an energy source in here. That's what that shiny thing could be. I'm pulling it out a little bit. I'm tugging on it and pulling it out just slowly, and then I'm going to push it back in. It, then I'm going to pull it back out a little bit more and push it back in and pull it out and put it back in. What are you making love to it, mate? Move forward. I think he <laughs> is. I think he's getting off on it. <laughs> Sometimes I just push it Seriously, in a little bit. Seriously, dude, it's reminding me of the, sh it the, the she foot. Push it back in real hard. I don't know what this is. It's back. I have no what? idea. <laughs> it's 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 said, it sounds like he's trying to fuck it. <laughs> I just put it in a little bit, and then I pull it out, and stick it in all the way. <laughs> uh, I've got, I got, I got, I got to find this, I this, this pull energy out. ball. I'm pulling it out. Down. I'm pulling it out. <laughs> Darcy blow. I'm pulling it out. I can feel it. Quick, quick, pull it out. Would have been surprised if he could to stand on his head. Look at that. He comes out and it's got boogers all over it. Oh. <laughs> so that went real good. Oh, man, I've got to so find this. I've got to find this energy ball break. they found we're inside the, the this man. Man. I'm going to take a little oh, break, man. have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, I'm, 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 this days so I'll be chuffing on the biggest molly I can find. see what's going on in there. Okay, My yeah. My guess is that it's a vent. Oh, God. Thank you, That's Peter, for sharing that, that with us. It, it obviously doesn't have any genital, genitalia. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So let's just not, not hurt our brains anymore than what we have. Let's just get out of that. Uh, <laughs> i got to, I got to find this, this, this guy, mate, this guy's got nearly 200,000 subscribers. Oh, I bet you they all get a fucking laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, is, is, this, is this it? Um, yeah, this is it. This is the one I was telling you about. This is where... This is the uh, the the encounter he had, making a big. Used baby. him to have a baby. 
Yeah, yeah, go on. This is it. <laughs> Doesn't seem real big, but he's a tough dog. And all Bigfoot and Sasquatch are afraid of dogs. This is a fact. Look, I was molested. I was molested by a Sasquatch. It's a fact. And hearing all this in the news of like Al Franken and Roy Moore and Donald Trump, it just it just brings it all back. It's like PTSD. So I got I'm watching TV and I see this about she didn't call me. <laughs> I've been molested. Bigfoot took my you know, baby. Nobody wants to help me. I've been molested by a Sasquatch. And I know a lot of people are saying that it wasn't a female Sasquatch, that it was a male You'll Sasquatch. You'll go upset. He's it getting... wasn't. It was a female. I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> not. Nothing like that happened. It was a female Sasquatch. I didn't want it to happen. I was back here. So he's a homophobe. Yeah, dude, seriously, you should just take whatever loving you can get. It's like she barreled yep. out of the, out of the it's 2023, bro. She knocked me over and started pulling my pants off. You pulled know? his pants off? Yep. It felt good. I admit it. It felt good. I blew my load. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get over this. <laughs> oh, Cupid, what am I going to do? Don't you should be stoked, mate. Keep coming back here. One day I'm going to see that Sasquatch. I'll see that Bigfoot. She'll be sorry for what she did to me. You'll be sorry when you did Sasquatch to Peter Kane. That was a huge mistake. The worst part about it was, was that, yeah, it did feel good. That's why, but it was biological. I just blew my load because I had to. <laughs> I got had no choice. She got on top of me and was riding at home. <laughs> she didn't even give me a rimmer. She didn't even give me a rimmer. She didn't even give me a rimmer. She just fucking used me for my sperm. I know she got my baby out there in the world. If I find her, oh, fuck. she's got my baby. I'm taking my baby. I'll raise that cub. <laughs> That's why he's got it chained up in his bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I want to get revenge. Oh, Sasquatch, you're dead to me. How dare you do that? Oh. <laughs> she didn't even kiss me. <laughs> she didn't even give me a rimmer, God damn it. <laughs> All this stuff in the news, and I'm the one that's I'm suffering. Nobody wants to help me. <laughs> Whoever's filming, um, uh, if someone's filming that for him, they must be. They got. <laughs> they must be uh, able to hold back laughter so bad. <laughs> oh, look, dude! Seriously, it's uh, it's it's incredible. But see, this is where I think this is the fun. I think I think this this has to be a troll. This has to yeah. be the biggest put on. Any any knows it, you know. Uh, but if you read, I'll just read some of the, the, the comments, which are even more entertaining. You know, uh, now he's selling new T-shirts. Just if anyone wants a uh, I've been fiddled by Bigfoot T-shirt, that's the thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> adjustment to his, uh, He's the Nick Ricardo uh, of the fucking Sasquatch world. Oh. It's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, like, I read out a couple of the comments. Um I think we ought to suspend judgment until we hear the Sasquatch side of the story. It's only fair. How, how does your dog manage to keep a straight face was another one. Imagine <laughs> you're in the forest and you hear it from the opposite side of the bush. This, this, this dude's a genius. She rode at home. I blew my load. Bigfoot had my baby. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is worth such uptight, serious place. Nice to see some simple here. And look, and I guarantee, look, at, at the end of the day, it it is comedy gold, if you know what I mean. To, to be able to pull a straight face and say that you you had relations with a with a female <laughs> Bigfoot, yeah, and it had your baby is is another thing. And actually, I mean, he would have spent some serious coin making that costume, mate. Um, oh yeah, seriously, he, he's. But he, but he is actually a dog trainer. This is the thing. He, he's actually. Uh, a I wouldn't dog let trainer. him anywhere near my dog. 
No, Bigfoot abducted and forced <laughs> me to do this. All right, here's here's, here's another one. Here's only three minutes. Oh, oh, dude, I just saw something horrible. Oh, should I play it? Peter Kane versus Bigfoot. You see this one? Oh, I've got, I got, I got to, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll share it. Hang oh, on. he can get a fight, but he can't get you. He can't release the sex tape. Come on now, buddy. This, this is this. I'm about to show you the the sex tape. Uh, oh God! Let me give it. Let me give it that. <laughs> Peter Kane, unsolved mystery. Here we go. Let me just mute this ad. But yeah, it's it's. A, if you have a closer look at the thumbnail, can you see that? All right. Yeah. He looks like he looks like he's got a mouthful of Bigfoot jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> Oh, please don't make it that it was an actual episode of Unsolved Mysteries. That'd just be stupid. Oh, I hope not. One man, one desire. Hundreds of years, what? strange ape-like creatures have been seen oh, no. across the western United States. <laughs> oh, it can't the Indians be. call them Sasquatch. Today, they are known by the name Bigfoot. That Bigfoot and Sasquatch. This, this is a real. That's animal that, that skull exists. I was telling you about. My father. The Anunnaki yeah, skull. Yeah. It looks like. No, no, that's that's what see, see that skull up back big there. Skull. Oh yeah, that's a that's a big. That's skull. what he says, and and it's the his pottery lessons are pretty shit. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that exists. My father shot the Bigfoot in 1953. They had to cut it up to get it out of the swamp. I have all the body parts. The Bigfoot penis seems to be very popular, and I haven't even shown it. But there's a lot of people that want to see it. It's glorious, and it's gigantic. <laughs> It's pretty big. You know, it's bigger than a human stick, that's for sure. <laughs> a humanoid creature that closely resembles other descriptions of Bigfoot. Is it possible that this legendary creature might exist? It's not a smart creature. It isn't. It's property of the graves. But there is a remote chance that a handful of these creatures do exist. This is one that I call the gay Bigfoot. And he's, he's totally, he's totally fucking gay. He's, he's back there by the barn all the time blowing other male Bigfoot. But some of, the, some of the male Bigfoot are getting blown. They're not, they're not really gay. We give you the finest in entertainment, don't we? Well, they're gay. They're gay if they're getting a, a knobber from a male Bigfoot. But Physical evidence seems to substantiate the numerous eyewitness reports, suggesting that perhaps, just perhaps, there really is a Bigfoot. They're real. They exist. And they're in Beaver Dams. Beaver Dams is actually known for Sasquatch and Bigfoot. <laughs> I have a lot of trail cameras up in the area. And I'm, you know, I'm avidly out with the dog looking for Sasquatch trails. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this this guy has made an absolute Bigfoot killing out of friggin' nice Bigfoot bullshittery. He, he got raped yeah. by Bigfoot. Now he wants it more. He wants some more. And you can. You That's why he keeps looking at on YouTube. Dude, you got to say the R word. There you go. Oh, uh, and he <laughs> stopped to masturbate. <laughs> Bigfoot's jizz that is left. It's fucking disgusting. He was going to be coming again on a certain day. And of course. If so, there are a lot of people who are very interested. <laughs> Reliable witnesses claim to have seen evidence of this. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gets this guy gets right in the character. Oh, and you got to admit, it's funny shit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he's, yeah. he's put so much work into this thing. It just rubber and it's went loony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Let, let me just, oh, let me just find some more on, on our media. Um, oh, God, let me just fix this up. But, but, dude, he's been around for such a long time now. Yeah, and, and people give him. People give him a hard time, right? But seriously, we, we know it's 
he, he was also feeding his cat some Bigfoot meat to see what it'd do to the cat. Then they reckons the cat went all strange. <laughs> I, I bet it would not. Right. Uh, Bigfoot stories from Beaver. Oh, God almighty. Uh, let's say it's, um, it's actually got a pet. Uh, oh, here it is. This, this is this is that this is that woman who's supposed to be the. Um, her name is Princess, and she's an yes, expert Guardian on Bigfoot anatomy. Um, and, and this is great, and it, it's it's brilliant. Let me just. <laughs> Let me just fix this up. Come on. There we go. An expert here, which is Princess Katya, is an expert on Bigfoot skeletal structures, and she can tell us more about this skull. Now, a little bit of back history about this skull. It was given to me. I can't disclose who gave it to me, but it was given to me. A third grader in art. And I found... And it's certainly not anything that I made. We got a little echo. Like some rumors going around that I made this. Is that better? It's absurd. It's absurd. If you look yep. at this, you will see there's no way that I could have fabricated anything as real as this. I'd have to be a freaking genius. And trust me, I'm not a genius. Is that correct? That is correct. I'm not a genius. You heard it from her. She's an expert. Yeah, I'll just turn that down a bit. Should be fine now. It's nonsense. This is a real Bigfoot skull, and we're going to learn more about this. And Princess Katya can tell us a little bit more about the... Man, what did you just love to be a part of his world the in real life? Bone. Think how much and fun you would have. It would definitely be interesting. Now, the... The skull itself is very similar to other hominids, Homo erectus, Homo sapien, Gensanthropus, um, Florius man. They're all very similar, gorillas, chimps. But this one is very distinct in that it's huge compared to a human. If you look at the size of this skull to my skull, or Princess Katya's skull, which is even larger than mine. Did you know see, that that the human skull doesn't have ear holes in the bone? Just so I share that with you. Yeah. Also, but he brings that, that up. It has. It is Let me just screw this up first. Let's talk about the ear holes. Indicating that this is no human skull. Not even close. Interesting. Interesting. Could you tell us a little bit about the what I like to refer to, and this might not be the proper proper term, but I like to refer to it as the taint area of the skull. Which the is taint. The oh, my God. This <laughs> yes, this would be the fulcrum magnum here. And here we have, if you look in, in the eye hole, clearly there is the ocular canal where the nerve would go into the skull. Yes, you can see it clearly, but... Not like a human, where the diameter of such nerve canals would be near. But the, the, the ocular canal isn't a gaping big hole in the back of your head, mate. It's actually something quite yeah. different. A half an inch in diameter. This is a huge look. Look, do you see that? Man, that they, I, I'll tell you what, this this, is this, a... he's so good at this. You know what I mean? Yeah, to take the absolute piss and just keep a straight face. I mean, th this is the thing. A lot of people actually believe this This is real. A lot of people believe this guy is like the, the chosen guy. You are right, man? I thought you fell off your chair there. Yeah, yeah. No. All right, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link his channel to you guys um, so, you, so you can watch all of this yourself. Pigeon wants to... What? Pigeon wants to R word my wife. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, there's, there's the head. head. There's the head. Here's the Bigfoot skull. Let me just turn this down. Mike, see what I mean? Welcome to Skull Island. I'll tell you what, dude. 
Did you, 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 you see you see Frank's all finished now? Yeah, he looks good. Yeah, it took a lot of freaking work too. Built in lights and shit. Yeah, that's his show. brain, it's man. They knock his brain. Bigfoot community. This is a fact. It's about entertainment. It is not about science. It isn't. They make it very clear. It's all about them going in the woods and talking BS. They're talking about stuff that they don't know what they're talking about. It's a fact. It's about entertainment. They're afraid of the truth. They're just like everybody else. They're afraid of the truth. That is one huge ass paper mache head. Money for sure. Yep. I have actual proof. I have several specimens. The next one that I will be showing is a uh, full juvenile that uh, I'm not really sure why. My father and his friend had started dissecting it. So the le- the foot, like above the ankle, is off, and we had that too. So you can you can see. It's essentially a whole a whole sample. You know, I wish I had room in my house where I could just make a big paper mache big foot and then display it for everyone to see. Yeah. More Seriously. In a spot where you can just dissect a big foot as well. None of it's real. Like they've got a built-in lab. It's all BS. Yeah, I know, right? Imagine. I need a Lobo, lab. The supposed expert says that well, I could do a bit weird science shit and blow stuff up. Yeah. And sausage. It's absolutely absurd. That is not what these creatures eat. It's an offensive show. How anybody could be watching that is anything other than entertainment. I'd like to know where he got the, the bath rug to make the that it's thing. a joke. You can, you can yeah, unless it's coconut. In their 100th anniversary special. Could be. I noticed something right off the bat. You listen to the director. The director says, this is what this is what he says. Now, I'm, this isn't verbatim, but he pretty much says, oh, they asked me to direct a show about Bigfoot. And I thought, oh, my God, I got to do a show about Bigfoot. The director doesn't think the Bigfoot's real. And I'll tell you something else. One of the main stars, at least one of the main stars, Bobo, clearly. Don't pick on Bobo. He's awesome. Watch researcher. And the proof of that is when Bobo, this is true. I saw him on a show. It was like a morning show. And what he was doing was cooking pancakes, eggs, and bacon. And saying he was doing that because that's what Bigfoot liked to eat. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's awesome. When has a has a, a Bigfoot eaten pancakes or sausage or bacon? They're not hanging around IHOP. This- <laughs> you never know. Oh, this is comedy gold, man. Seriously, this is there should be more stuff out there like on the internet. But guess what we're going to be doing next week? Guess what? what we're talking about next week? We're going to be talking about the Megalodon. Oh, nice. So I'm going to go and get a heap of footage of the Megalodon. I'm going to download it, put it all in the system uh, during the week. So we're going to go and discuss whether Megalodon still exists or not. Now, they reckon there's been extinct for all, around, I think, the 10,000-year mark. But <clears throat> there's been more and more sightings. Yeah, like it. the one in the Mariana Trench. Hmm. Mm, and also what's known as the, um, the was it the Black Devil? Yeah. Mm, Mexico waters. So, yeah, so we're going to be doing that next week. Now, look, I, look, I haven't even plugged the show yet. Guys, if you – hang on, let me, let me just fix this up. Uh, fuck's sake. There we go. Guys, if you are liking The Naked Zombie, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check us out. Go to our SoundCloud I, actually, I can show all that now because I have the technology. Yeah. Holy shit. I think that's enough for Peter tonight. So you, see, you basically you get the idea. He, he's, yeah. he's, he's hilariously funny. I find his stuff very campy. He's got thing for gay Bigfoots because he seems a bit <laughs> upset because cause the other one, the female Bigfoot, didn't um, return his phone calls by the sounds of it. So he feels yeah. a bit upset about that. And took off with his baby, uh, so yeah, it's 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 all a goer. So let me just pull up this. Whoop. Let me go, and I'm going to show you guys where to find all the episodes of the shows, the website, and everything now, because I can do that now. For starters, how's that sound? 
Let's start so, off with the website. Yeah, go away. So for those who haven't seen the website itself, let's go to present. Oh, come on. Present. Share screen. Windows. Here we go. So here you have the Naked Zombie website, right? This is where you can subscribe to the channel. So you got subscribe, sign up. Any email comes through to me, which I ignore because I'm like that. Then you've got from the start all the newest episodes. Not only do you have the, the live ones here, but you also got all the others. So you can scroll, you can actually just listen to this stuff. And now it goes all the way down. Okay. So they're they're the latest ones. But if you want to go to all the episodes, you click on that there, it will take it'll go to our SoundCloud link. Right. So this is I'll go to SoundCloud in a minute. You also got the zombie blog, which I've been really lazy at. Now you've got the host. So this is me, you, and Wadsy. So this goes down yeah. the host. You've also got, you can, uh, here's our link for the SoundCloud link. You know, find the link for the SoundCloud. So let's open that up. This is where you find all the, yeah, I accept. Go away. So this is, this is all, all the episodes of the Naked Zombie is stored on SoundCloud because it just makes it easier for us to download it here than anywhere else. Run Brad has the technology. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so this is all the episodes of Naked Zombies so far. It's all there. All there for your listening pleasure. Now, we're currently up to 21 followers, but saying that it, it, we've had lots of downloads, so which is fantastic. So let me just go back to here. Now, <clears throat> we also have... Uh, let me just get out of that. So I've got, to, I've got to plug all this shit because I don't do it properly because I can never show anyone where it's located. So you can find all that. Uh, if I go out of there, go away, and I go to file, new window. No, 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 no. See, you do not see any Pornhub in there. Um, so we've got, we got the Facebook site as well, which is cool-ish because I'm very lazy. I'm going to have someone to manage that, actually. Let me just watch it counts because I just don't spend any time on it. I just load the shows on there for people to find in the future. So we also got a Facebook page as well for people to go across. And I'll go to the TikTok too in a minute. So this is the Naked Zombie Radio page. Uh, C page. Oh, my God. Everything takes so freaking long to sort out. All right. So you got this as well. Ah. Uh, share screen. Window. All right. So this is this is actually the Facebook page. So we actually do have a Facebook page where you'll find. Like I, I do, I do a fair bit on here. Like, like there's, there's a lot of stuff on here. You can see the show being done and all the rest of it. All the shows on there. If you prefer Facebook than anything else, that's there as well. Let me just get rid of that. Um, and we've also got the, uh, the the TikTok page, which I'll go into now, which is. Doing really well, Brad. Only fans where the mud wrestles a drop. Bit. I know. <laughs> oh, new, new tab. I, I I should I should start up my own Only Fans page, but I'm just too handsome for it. Um, uh, yeah, TikTok. Well, Frank's thinking about making a return to YouTube as well, which sort of scares me in a lot of ways. Yep. Which is not 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 a good thing. <laughs> I'm oh sure he'll get God. into some shenanigans on TikTok as it is. Dude, you have no idea. He gets up to all sorts of mischief. Let me just stop that. I'm not going to show you Muppets my login. Go away. Okay, login. You know I can't get over TikTok. This is what really fascinates me. Let, let me just uh, sign in with uh, Facebook. I think it's Facebook. Uh, use phone or username. Uh, continue. You, you're not phone. Oh, let me just... Oh God, okay, Continue. 
I should have had this set up before I did this, but I'm useless. <laughs> Here we go. Log me in. Uh, no, I don't want to oh, cancel. Fuck, it's trying to bring up an old one. Anyway, so we do have a TikTok as well. It's doing really well. I'll just get rid of that. This is stupid. Um, so that's doing really well. Um, so Frank's here. He's, he's sitting next to me now. He's all set up, ready to go. But if people remember Frank from the old days, you remember the, the shenanigans he used to get up to and abusing everyone he ever met? Yep, I remember when he met the Yanks. <laughs> oh, didn't they friggin' lose uh, their shit? They did not know how to take him. <laughs> I have no control, dude. I just program it away, and he just does it all himself. He's just like, yep. he's a dude. I should look. I should, I should look there's, there you go. There's the top of his head there. <clears throat> so you see the top of his head. So he's, he's just sitting there. But Frank will be kicking off again fairly soon. But you no, know, whether or not he does, I don't know. It's a different. You, I got to be a little bit more politically correct now with Frank because he's, you know, yeah the way shit is but mate we've come up to the end of tonight's show mm. and i'd like to thank ev and i'd like to thank everyone that has joined us tonight for the live uh if you have an interesting story or something you wish to share with us please do go right ahead don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel uh early days but it's slowly getting there with having a lot of fun now i can share screens and sound which is going to make life a lot easier so i'll be able to show you a lot more videos and next week we're going to talk about the megalodon I love sharks. I have a thing about sharks and being eaten. <laughs> Not having a, a BJ from a female Bigfoot, that just doesn't do anything for me. But <laughs> sharks, I love sharks. Sharks are cool. Um, so we're going to talk about the Malignodon next week. So I'll get a heap of stuff ready for us next week. Don't forget, Tuesday night, we've got the live stream. Uh, we've got the, uh, the weird news, which always does really well for people. And, mate, yep. thank you again for being part of the live stream. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in. Get well. Oh, we almost had Mysterious Bob on the show tonight, but he's pretty sick. Um, yeah. So get better, Mysterious Bob, because I'm dragging Mysterious Bob out into the wilderness very okay. soon. And, and uh, we're going to take the new gimbal. We're going to set it up, and we're going to go bush, and we're going to go and explore Yowie country. So it should be a lot of fun. Oh, fun. We're going to do that tonight and try not to get bitten. I'm, I'm more worried of either being bitten by a uh, red belly black or yeah. kidnapped by a she yowie and forced to have babies. <laughs> Just put Don't forget the there. Vegemite. Got to keep those drop bears oh. in that away. Don't forget the Vegemite. Yeah, Vegemite behind the ears is a good trick. Uh, so, guys, yeah. thank you for joining us tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure again. More of the zombie coming. I'm, I'm actually <clears> going to try and get more and more episodes out. Uh, it's just a matter because I work full time and I'm, I'm stuffed by the end of the week. <laughs> Yeah. And we'll just see how we go. But thank you. Say goodbye, Nick. So no, see you later. No, okay, guys. Thanks, everyone. You, yeah, you take care. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you, Baz. <laughs> Bye.